And welcome back to Island Life Live. The heavy rains caused the National Weather Service to extend its advisories and warnings a number of times to the weekend. And even today, the rain was so heavy it forced lane closures on the Pali Like Like and the H3 on Oahu today. So, the big question is when will the rain let up? So, we're so lucky. We yeah. have a chief meteorologist, <laughs> not a fakey meteorologist. We have a chief meteorologist here. He's schooled. She, she's throwing me on, putting me on blast right what? now. You know, I slipped, I slipped Lena. Uh, 20 bucks <laughs> to say that. So, you know, anyway. But Pete Cajano is with us on the couch. Thank you so much, brother. We really re are relying on your expertise, especially on days like this. Yeah, it's a, it's a tough uh, forecast as well. We've seen some very heavy rain in some spots, and over the weekend it was it was pouring. In other, some spots, other folks were talking about how sunny it was, and it's re been very hit and miss. Today it was much more hit. I, across the area. That's what, I mean, that's what we were expecting. Like on Friday, you had mentioned yeah. it's going to be like hit or miss over the weekend. And that that was pretty much the story. Yes. But today, Oahu especially, I mean, we were pretty much inundated. And we had some video from um, Kamehameha Highway in um, Waikane, Waihole, that area. And it's just, it's just crazy. So when are we expecting this weather system to kind of like clear the islands, Pete? Uh, well, we're going to start to see it clear late tomorrow. But unfortunately, it looks like it's going to linger. So it lingered from the weekend. It's what we call an upper level low. And it's been just north of the islands. And that's what's fueled those showers at the heavy rainfall and it's likely going to linger again tomorrow. I don't think it'll be quite as bad tomorrow as it was today, but there's still going to be some pockets of heavy rain. Hopefully we don't see images like this tomorrow, but uh, again, we, we could have potentially some pockets of heavier rain tomorrow, and then we have, of course, another system coming up as we head into midweek. Pete, you know, not everybody knows the difference between a flood watch, a flood advisory, a flood warning. Can you please help us with those differences? Yeah, I, I, it's it's somewhat easy in terms of what if you, if you break it up between a watch and then the advisory and warning. So we'll put the watch on one side. A watch basically means it can happen we're expecting it to happen in the future. So an advisory and warning means it's happening now. And an advisory is just less. So an advisory means we're seeing heavy rainfall. We could see some localized flooding. It may not be life-threatening. When you talk about a warning, it means it's happening now and it's also life-threatening. So that's mm. heavy rainfall. Mm. And that's why we have that flood warning in effect for windward sections of Oahu right now. Right. When you start to get flooded roadways, then you start to be talking about things that could affect uh, life and, of course, property. Yeah. I actually was I was driving up the Liki Liki coming into work and I witnessed an accident um, of drivers coming down. One of the trucks had hydroplaned. Wow. Um, so I guess that's what you're talking about in regards to a flood warning. Yeah, yeah and, and exactly. So that flood warning is just kind of the highest level. That means it's happening now. And basically, when you get the flood warnings, we, we try to tell folks, I know folks need to get around and, you know, you got, sometimes you got to do what you got to do. But if you can avoid travel during flood warnings, that's the, the best bet. Pete, uh, real quick before we head to break, uh, we do our, we are expecting more weather alert days this week. Tell us about that real quick. Yeah, let's go ahead and take a look at what we have. We're expecting another Kona low now to develop. And as we take a look at those graphics, we can expect uh, this upper level low, which is off to the east, to mm -hmm. move to the east. We've got another system behind it. And that stormy Ooh. system is going to bring more rainfall. So we have the flood warnings in effect right now. We could see additional flood warnings as this next system does develop over the island. So Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, we're going to be under a Kona low. And we've all experienced those Kona lows before, especially oh, yeah. Kauai, Oahu, and Maui County, under the gun for persistent heavy rainfall and more flood risk. So we're going to be watching for those, of course, weather alert days in effect. Uh, through Sunday. All right, we're so stoked to have Pete Cajano, our chief meteorologist, of course, for the latest on island weather with our team of experts. Download the Island Weather app in the Google Play Store or Apple App Store, and you can get the very latest right to your hand, in your, your hand, in that device. All right, thanks again, Pete. No problem. You the man.